Hi there. Uh, so this is gonna be a bit different. Um, I was outside and I saw this lovely feather. So I took it with me. Um, of safety tip, uh, if you find anything outside and want to take it inside, uh, wash it, disinfect it, wash your hands, do not touch your face before washing your hands. Um, we know the drill by now. Just be safe. And I'm sure that disinfecting it um, did a little bit of number uh, on this one, but I'd rather be safe than sorry. So I saw it outside and thought to myself, I would really like to make a feather quill. <laughs> but I do not know how to make a feather quill. Um, so I looked up uh, this lovely tutorial by Epic Fantasy. Um, it's a step-by-step -step tutorial uh, uh, how to make a feather quill pen. And the first thing I noticed is that he has a uh, little cutting knife uh, like this one. Um, so yeah, little, we will need a little scalpel, a little cutting knife like this one. Okay, so he says the first step is to cut it at an angle. Um, so I'm guessing because it curves this, w this way uh, that the angle should go this way. So we're gonna cut it like, th th like this. Oh man. There's no going back now. He doesn't cut a lot, so I'm not gonna cut a lot either. Oh, that's a lot. Oh, that feels bad. Just gonna be careful. Oh my god. I did it! It's like very small. It's like very small, but I did it. So he cuts a slot uh, right, right there right there right in the middle of that so that's what we're gonna do so the next thing he does is Jesus is curve this this line here curve these sides so we have our split in the middle and then the little walls that he curves down Hope that makes sense. We're gonna try our best to do that with our little crow feather. I keep going away from the camera and I know that's bad because you, you want to see. Also like it's, it's very difficult. Let's let's say a prayer. Uh, this is the angle now so that I can focus more on it. So what we want to do is get this to a point, like curve, uh, curve this, this wall down. And I know that my feather is very tiny, so I have to be very careful. And just try my best, I guess because it's very difficult. Also, I've never done this before. So I also don't want to fuck it up. I mean, I mean, that looks like a point, doesn't it? Um, I would argue that's good. It feels sharp enough. Okay, so what I just saw him do is just go like this. Um, I guess to smooth it out and you know what, maybe that's a great idea. You can like see the little, the little gap that I made in the middle. There you go. Well, it's not really in the middle, is it? It'll be, it'll be alright. It'll be alright. Pray for me. So the next step would be to, um, curve these more inward um, and then cut the tip of it a lot more but um, I feel like because it is such a tiny feather um, I'm afraid to break it uh, so it already has like the basic shape of a quilt so we're just gonna try try it out real quick and see how it does so what we're gonna do is take apart one of my fountain pens. By the way, um, these are um, 
here the tip actually belongs this tip belongs on this one and this tip belongs on this one but i changed them out because of weight stuff um and i really enjoy it um yeah we can just do whatever the fuck we want okay so i'm just oh i'm just gonna dip it in okay let's see let's see what happens oh god i put it in too deep okay Wait, hold up. I mean, yeah, kinda. Let me just, um, I need to clean this a little bit because I put it in too deep. Let's get you cleaned up. I feel like this isn't even sturdy enough for my hand. And, <laughs> oh, it's so unhandy. But you can, kind of. Right, hello. Oh Christ. I am leaking. Oh no. <laughs> anyway, let's say hello. Um I mean a little bit. Um Damn, olden times must have been dark. So maybe we can draw with it. It's so unhandy. Um, it's too fragile. Maybe I should get like a turkey feather. Um, and try it again. Like, like a tur turkey feather like in the video. See if I can make big shapes because that's kind of. I mean, yeah. I mean, yeah. Kind of, kind of. <laughs> Jesus. I think the handling is also what's like killing me because I don't know which way to. Like this is obviously this is the best way to hold it up and down, up and down, or maybe just down. I. Yeah, I'm just down. Just down. Um, but it's it's Oh no, oh no, I put it in too deep again. Oh no, I didn't. Where's all the ink? Anyway, um it was fun to try out. Um a feather like this is definitely too fragile. Um, it's a mess. <laughs> uh, I really enjoyed trying this out, uh, seeing what, like, what the process is. Um, I feel like I did an okay job for my first time making a quill. Let's see, can I? I want something that like, makes big shapes. Like, I'm not. I'm not super mad. I didn't expect it to work flawlessly. Uh, the fact that it even retains any ink uh, is a success to me. Look at this. Like, it does retain quite a bit. Yes, it's scratchy, but like it is in there. That was. I mean, it was definitely fun to try out. There's a reason we use these bitches, I guess. Um, I mean, it retained ink. Ink is definitely in there. I just cleaned it with, um, with just a paper tissue. Um, ink has definitely been retained. And that was kind of my goal in seeing like if I could make it do that. I mean, it's not like it did a great job. Um, I, I did try my best though. If you like this video, um, go ahead and give it, give it a like. Um, if you found it uh, hilarious how I failed in making a quill, um, go ahead and share it with your friends. You can all laugh a lot at me. Uh, I mean, there is ink in there for sure. Maybe it's just dirty. Is it dirty again? 
no, it, like it definitely, it definitely went in there. Um, so yeah, it did retain ink, so that that was kind of like my goal. Um, yeah, share it with your friends if you found this. Um, if uh, seeing me fail was funny to you. Um, subscribe if you want to see more of these kinds of videos. If you want to see them earlier than anyone else, um, you can support me on my Patreon. Um, if you like this video, uh, give it a give it a like. Um, if you want to see more uh, of my stuff, go ahead and subscribe. Uh, if you'd like to see uh, these kind of videos earlier than anyone else um, or just any content of mine earlier than anyone else uh, you can support me on my Patreon uh, where I post all my uh, high resolution uh, images where I also post all my not safe for work stuff um, and uh, if you subscribe to the champion tier you can get one free sketch um, every every month uh, don't worry they're digital sketches and they will not be done uh, with this quote-unquote quill uh, thank you so much for watching uh, I hope you had fun I hope you did learn not to make a quill the way I did it uh, maybe use a turkey feather go and check out uh, epic fantasy uh, if you uh, want to make a quill yourself that tutorial was definitely helpful and very instructive thank you so much for watching um, I will see you in the next one.